After three months of waiting, we finally got June 2022 feature drop for Pixel devices. So let's find out what's new. So let's start with the build number here on the 6 Pro. It's SQ3822605.009.b1. So it's a 6020 this is a pretty long build number, so let's find out what's new. Let's start with the features Google already mentioned in the feature drop advertising video. And the first one is a new app called Pocket Operator, exclusive only for Pixel devices, made by a company called Teenage Engineering in collaboration with Google. This app is only available on the Pixel 5 and later models. So let's take a look at the app. This app will simply allow you to create funny mixes out of your videos. And as you see here at the bottom, I have four tracks, which means you can import up to four videos. At the top, you have the waveform button that will allow you to select the video you want. So as an example, I'm gonna choose one. And as you see, you have the option to record using the camera or load one from your gallery. So I'm gonna load one of the videos I already have, and I'm gonna choose this one. After waiting for a few seconds, you will see here these icons. Each one represents a type of sound already identified in the video itself. For instance, the ones with the bubble icon means somebody's talking. And if you want to listen to the sound, you can simply tap on it like this. And there are other sounds too in the video. Each sound got its own number. So by this, you can choose how you want to create your mix by tapping on the edit button. And here are the empty spots. So you can, for example, choose sound one to be here, choose sound maybe eight or five. Okay, and here I'm gonna choose six. And as you see, I can change the number of the sound by swiping up and down like this. And once you are happy with your edit, you can listen to it by tapping on the play button. And if you want to exit the edit mode, you can tap on the edit button one more time. So you can keep playing around and add maybe some music to track number two and so on and so forth. Once you finish all the tracks, uh, then you can export your work by tapping on this button over here at the top right corner. And here, are, here is the project you are currently on. You can give it a different name if you want, or you can simply tap on export and it will take uh, some time to export the video and save it to your gallery. And if you want to understand more how to use this app, you have a guide button here at the top. It will put an overlay label on each button to explain what it will do. So for example, when you swipe up and down, you can change the filter. You can also go to FX and add some effects to your video. So you can hit the play button and then tap and hold to change the effect. You can also use the record button to record your actions and your actions will be automatically converted into a video. So for example, when I hit play and then do this and then hit stop, play the video again, it will record the last actions I did and create the video for me. So I don't have to do it manually. I can simply keep tapping on the screen while recording and it will save my actions. And finally, there is a step-by-step -step tutorial that will explain it into more detail by tapping on guide. And here on the left, you have tutorial. Tapping on it will take you through a brand new project uh, that will allow you to create everything from scratch. You can also uh, go to the YouTube uh, page. And this will show you some videos on how to use the app. And that's pretty much it. The second new feature is the ability to add your COVID-19 vaccination card to the device and also a quick shortcut to the home screen. This feature is only available in US, Australia and Canada. So because I don't have the feature available where I live, so let me show you this quick tutorial. The first thing you need to do is to take a screenshot of your COVID-19 vaccination card and you will see a button here called add quick access. Once done, it will take you through a simple wizard explaining how the feature works. And then you tap on continue. Once you tap on continue, it will give you a confirmation screen that the card has been added. And then you can add the quick shortcut to your home screen as well. And this is how the COVID-19 vaccination card looks like. And this is the quick shortcut. Change number three is the availability of the car crash detection in Canada. And this is the full list of countries you can use the feature in. It's US, Canada, Taiwan, Italy, France, Spain, 
Ireland, Japan, UK, Australia, and Singapore. Next, the AtaGlance widget got a couple of new features. The first one is the Nest Doorbell Video Feed, or in other words, if someone rings your bell, you should see a small thumbnail in your at a glance widget showing you who's at your front door. The second one is the flashlight alerts. So once you turn on the flashlight, your at a glance widget will show you that it's on and you can tap on it to turn it off immediately. I used to have this feature on my 6 Pro before installing June 2022 feature drop, but what's funny here, after installing the update, the feature is now gone, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Next, live translate on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models can now translate your chats into five new languages. They are Thai, Turkish, Dutch, Korean, and traditional Chinese. Last but not least, there are three new wallpapers under the curated culture category that shows at the top row. Unfortunately, this update is not big when it comes to new features, but it got 35 bug fixes and the performance improvements across multiple areas like apps, audio, battery, biometrics, Bluetooth, camera, display and the graphics, sensors, system, telephony, user interface, and Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna leave the link for this article in the description if you want to go through them yourself, but let me share with you my own experience after installing this update on the 6 Pro. First of all, the fingerprint sensor on the 6 Pro is noticeably faster. Now I touch the screen briefly and it unlocks the device in less than half a second, which is nice and it doesn't fail as well. The second improvement I noticed is in the camera. Now when I take a photo, it takes less time to process the image, which is also another improvement. And finally, the storage tile got a new icon here, which is different from the previous one. So I'm not sure if this update is related to the files app itself, or this is something in the feature drop. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I spotted in June 2022 feature drop for Pixel devices. Please leave me a comment if you think I missed any new feature, so I will include it in my future videos. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.